Why do you smile? Do you not detest me? I stole everything from you. <sighs> the souls of my past vessels all brimmed with malice toward me. They lament, they grieve, they reject me. In the end, they despair and disappear without a trace. But you are different. Within my being, you have created this shell and continue to live. Why? Why do you not harbor any despair? Because I have learned of your crime. <laughs> because I have come in contact with your soul, if only a little. I forgive. Sing for me once more. Does the Princess of Jutland vex you so? She is the first human whose power rivals your own, no? I suppose it is only natural she captures your attention. What folly. I have no interest in mortals. However, it is true we must be rid of that Galder. For mere mortals, the power of mana, Ragnite, is a power beyond their ability. Mark me, Valkyrie. Your Golder, my Ragnite, our mana. Do not forget that they all belong to me. I control the power, and I shall never let it overwhelm me. Remember, you only need to follow my command. Our command. I shall comply, mortal. I shall sing whenever you wish it. There is nothing more for me. Standing here again, are we, Maxime? What is it? You're not even Rusey. Why does this monument capture your attention so much? How long has this been here? Ever since His Majesty's reign. I see. If you want to ask anything else, I will answer. The names carved in this monument are all people who have lost their lives for His Majesty. Indeed. He is giving praise to their deaths. The people also see death as an honor. That is true. Is death an honor? I did not expect to hear that. In the previous battle, the Valkyria attacked friend and foe alike. His Majesty approved of that. Of course. It is a necessary sacrifice. What is the life of a citizen? Of a soldier? What is their worth? His Majesty's strength is something dazzling to me. The sight of the people following His Majesty showed me the might of the Ruzi Empire. Still, ever since the Valkyria stormed through, although my mind understands it was necessary, my heart cannot. You are the one I cannot understand. Why do you think in that manner? <laughs> you doubt yourself. Doubt, it may be. That is why I ask those who have passed on. Were their deaths truly an honor? <laughs> I loathe to admit it, but you are one of the Empire's proud Grand Generals, worthy of His Majesty's trust. At the very least, do not display your true character.
Your Majesty, Brenland respectfully wishes to express its deep regret over the death of Admiral Gustav Mecklenburg. Frank likewise sends its sympathies. Hobstria prays that his soul be at peace. Brighton similarly offers its condolences. You have our gratitude for these kind words. Gustav was our faithful servant long before we ever ascended to the throne. Our regret is nigh unfathomable. However, we cannot abandon the Imperial Crown for a funeral shroud. Many of Ruse's most valiant soldiers, Grand Generals Balthus and Gustav included, have lost their lives to the Jutes. Thus shall we use this humiliation as incitement to take offensive against these bloodthirsty Jutish invaders. Invaders? Correct. This talk of liberation is a flagrant fallacy. Europa can no longer afford to be blinded by propaganda. The Ruzi Empire hereby declares, in no uncertain terms, Jutland's liberation is naught but a lawless invasion. Once again, Claudius defined Jutland's actions as an invasion. The Ruzi people supported the Emperor's words. For them, Jutland was a despised enemy. Claudius was the one who transformed Ruse into a mighty country that rivaled the world powers. To the citizenry, I imagine he was the symbol of an immense Ruse, of the nation itself. Not one person doubted his words at the time. The outcry to never forget Jutland's invasion grew stronger. The attack on the capital of their old kingdom infuriated the Ruse citizens. I believe Claudius used that intense rage as a backdrop to increase the momentum of the anti-Jutland sentiment. It was around this time, wasn't it, when Ruse declared their counterattack. It even engulfed Europa on a grand scale. Be that as it may, the superpowers distanced themselves from this situation due to the traitors pulling the strings. Each domestically adopted a wait-and-see policy, emphasizing the Ruse versus Jutland perspective. Lindegard, who is perceptive to such trends, made sure Ruse's invasion phrasing was known throughout the country. Currently, Jutland is being alienated from the world powers. We perceived Ruse as the enemy, and to that end have been liberating the countries under the Empire's dominion. However, the whole of Europa now looks at us with scorn, viewing us only as invaders. This is most unfortunate for the kingdom. As such, I would once more like to implore to your majesty to end this war. Please, sire, appoint me to negotiate with the Ruzi Empire. I object to Councilman Lindegard's proposal, your majesty. You again? There's no need to sway to public opinion. Looking at the situation short-sightedly will change nothing. I'd appreciate if you'd view the situation as a whole. But this war has already claimed the lives of our youth, whose bright futures are cut short. What do you call that? Precisely what I would call a short-sighted view. How will we politicians make use of this victory, which our soldiers won with their blood, for Jutland's future? That is what is important. If we withdraw here, it will affect the people's morale and result in a significant decrease of the country's power. This war was started in the first place because the Empire placed an economic blockade on Jutland. If we look at this in the long term, there's no other choice but to win this war in our present situation. Hmm. He's moving the goalposts. He shifted the King's focus to Jutland's future instead of looking at its present state. So this is how they operate.
Need something? Is there something you need? Headquarters sent us a request. Take our territory. Op details are as follows. That's all. Vanergan, move out.
stronger. The public's torn. Liberation or invasion? Your reputation's taking a hit over this debate. Because of all the pro-liberation articles you've written, we're being called part of the military propaganda machine. So what are you gonna do? Fire me again? The suits want you to pen an apology. They think printing that will help calm things down some. That's ridiculous. I have nothing to apologize for. Well, you can't say your articles didn't contribute to the push for war. I only write what I believe. This war is necessary. We've given hope to the people suffering most from Ruse's economic oppression. I'm proud of this. That may be true, but people are tired of all this war. It doesn't help that the military says our losses are few, yet according to Ruse, that number is substantially higher. You can't possibly believe that. What I think is moot. The people have the louder voice. You're the one who pushed for this free exchange of ideas. It's not just us. All the papers are reporting it. The bottom line is, the people can't make heads or tails of the truth. This is exactly what Ruse wants, to cause unrest. Does that mean you'll write it? The apology? You must be joking. Liberation or invasion? I guess it's a problem of perception. Doesn't matter. There's no stopping now. Well, now's as good a time as any to do some interviews. Hot damn. You see the town lately? Yeah, people are really upset. I honestly don't know how things will shake out. No kidding. Vi seems pretty down in the dumps too. She took Leonid's death pretty hard. She's, you know, kind. <clears throat> but we can't stop now, right? Right. By the way, how's Am? He all patched up yet? Not sure. I'll have to check in. Need to speak to him about something anyhow. I'll leave you to it then. She knows? Yeah. Of all people, the princess? Godot left his research behind. When his sister found it, she took it right to the princess. Even now, I remember what he told us. Me too. It's like he's haunting us from the grave. I thought he was annoying before, but... What he said is starting to sting. Ophelia said she'd keep it to herself. <sighs> I find that a little hard to believe. I thought she'd make a big fuss if she knew of something like this. I think she's still trying to sort it all out for herself. <sighs> we can trust her. Are you sure? If we look at this from her selfless point of view, this war is... I know, Ophelia. If she says she'll keep quiet, she will. <sighs> she's the same as she's ever been. There's not an inch of dishonesty in her. 
If you'll go that far to defend her, I'll put my trust in her too. As if we didn't already have enough to worry about with Miss Maria and the Valkyria. We have to tell the others. You're right. The whole country's unsure of itself at the moment. So I hear. All this talk of invasion is making the public second-guess themselves. When you walk around Ruse, it's filled with words of anger toward Jutland. The Emperor has a monument for the soldiers who've fallen, even tells their families to be proud of their sacrifice. The war is something very personal for them. But it's not for Jutland, because we made sure it wasn't. They're detached from the war. Even with the Princess leading the charge? It's because she's leading the charge. The Princess continues to shine in the war. The people of Jutland only see that pleasant facade. It's why liberation resonated so much with them. What's wrong, Vi? <laughs> You're never this emotional. It's embarrassing for this to happen, given my line of work. I've just had a lot of things on my mind. Come on. Talk to me. It's my... informant. He's dead. Killed in action. At Covaltus? If Saul were here, he'd just scoff at this as something trivial. He was a good man. A great man. His name might already be etched onto that monument. The Emperor might have told his wife to be proud of her husband. He had two children. I can't help but think that his wife's a widow now. Or wonder what she thinks about Jutland. You're really torn up about this. I'm surprised myself. I've been in contact with dignitaries of many countries. It's my job, after all. But he... He seriously thought about the future of Ruse and his children. They were a normal family, you know. And I slipped into his heart when he was tired of his wife's lavish habits. Stop. That's not the only home that we've destroyed. I said stop. I know you didn't want this war, but we made our decision together. We needed to rescue Miss Maria, and Jutland needed to rise up against Ruse. Let's talk it over, Vi. The five of us. Okay. Is there something you need? Headquarters sent us a request. Op details are as follows.
That's all. Vanergan, move out. myself.
Their numbers are rising.
Now that Kovaltus has been broken through, it's easy to predict they will target us here at Velgiev. It's inevitable. As you can see, we've been preparing to meet the enemy and strike back. I'll take command. Inform all our troops to keep Jutland engaged until nightfall. Nightfall? Then the Valkyria will... Indeed. <laughs>